I, I think generally people um, underestimate the, the capability, capability of AI. They sort of think like it's a smart human. Like, the, like the, the biggest mistake that I see artificial intelligence researchers making is assuming that they're intelligent. Yeah, they're not compared to AI. And so like, a lot of them cannot imagine something smarter than themselves, but AI will be vastly smarter, vastly. We will just be too slow. 99.99% .99 of the predictions that human being had in the history about the future, all wrong. I think if a lot of solutions we don't have today, but there will be solutions tomorrow. We don't have solutions, but the young people will have solutions. So I'm quite optimistic. And uh, people worry a lot about this today. Uh, those people, I call them called, um, uh, called college smartness. People like us, street smart, we never scared of that. We, we think it's a great fun, and we want to change ourselves to embrace it. The rate of change of technology is in incredibly fast. Um, it is outpacing our ability to understand it. You could sort of think of humanity as a biological bootloader for digital superintelligence. Actually, I'm not interested in Mars. I just came back from there, so. Uh -huh. I'm more interested on the Earth, the things, what's going on happening here. So what, what, why are you so curious about the Mars? Well, I think the thing about Mars is that I think it's important for us to take the set of actions that are most likely to continue consciousness into the future. What increases the probability of consciousness of continuing into the future? I think we should not take it for granted that consciousness will continue because we have not encountered any aliens. Where are the aliens? This is the Fermi paradox. This is one of the most important questions. How come we've not found any aliens? There's people out there who think we've found aliens. Trust me, I would know. We have not. Okay. Um, among the set of actions we can take that are likely to increase the scope and scale of consciousness such that we are better able to understand the nature of the universe. Uh, one of those actions is to become a multi-planet species or ensure that life is multi-planetary. Not because I think something that, it's, it's not, not from, from the standpoint of it just being an escape hatch or because I think that Earth is doomed, um, but there's a certain probability that is irreducible uh, that something may happen to Earth, despite our best intentions, despite everything we try to do, the, the, there's a probability at a certain point that some either external uh, force or some internal unforced error uh, causes civilization to be destroyed um, or, 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 or sufficiently impaired such that it can no longer um, extend to, to another planet. Good. It's so difficult to secure the future of the Earth, but we can secure the future of next 100 years. But I admire a lot of people spend efforts on improving the Earth. It's, it's great to send 1 million people to the Mars, but we have to care about the 7.4 billion people on the Earth. How can we make the world more sustainable? Look at you with great respect. We need heroes like you, but we need more heroes like us, working hard on the Earth, improving things every day. That's what I want. About jobs, don't worry about it. We will have jobs. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, like I said, I think we're going to have to figure out this Neuralink situation. Otherwise, we will be left behind. Um, it's very important we do this quickly. I think time, we don't have much time. <laughs> we don't have much time for what? We don't have much time to solve the Neuralink. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. This is. Uh, yeah. I never worry about the things that I cannot solve. I let other people to solve it. Sure. If nobody can solve it, just let it be. That's my life. I mean, down the road with a neural link, it w you can just upload any subject instantly. So it'll be like the Matrix. You want to fly a helicopter? No problem. Well, helicopters will fly themselves, but you know, if you wanted to do whatever. Any, any given skill, we just upload it instantly. Um, I mean, the way education works right now, it's extremely low bandwidth, it's extremely slow. <sighs> Lectures are the worst, really. It's like very slow. Yeah. Um, 
how can we making sure that the machines are always the toys and, and, and tools of humans rather than the control? So I never in my life, and especially last two years when people talk about AI, say uh, human, human being will be controlled by machines, I never think about that. I think it's, 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 it's impossible, right? It's impossible because human beings, they are different. Machines are invented by human beings. And according to the science, right, humans can never create another animal that is smarter than humans. Especially when you have so many smart people, it's impossible to make another smart people. I, I very much disagree with that. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, I mean, the first thing we should assume is that we are very dumb. Um, and we can, de we can definitely make things smarter than ourselves. I mean, the, they didn't used to be humans, right? So the, uh, then the, our early civilization was very primitive. Um, we didn't have any technology, really. We we're just like running around, you know, trying to not get eaten uh, or just trying to survive a winter. Now we have like heating and we grow food. This is all new stuff. So, you know, things have obviously gotten way more smarter than the past, way smarter. So that's going to continue. We are not the last step in evolution. So the most important thing, like I said, the most important mis mistake I see smart people making is assuming that they're smart. They're not. Yeah. So give me an example what uh -huh. the animals or things that a human being made that is smart than human beings. Well, computers actually are already much smarter than, than people on so many dimensions. We just keep moving the goalposts. Uh, so we used to think, like, for example, being good at chess was an example of a smart human. And then Kasparov was crushed by Deep Blue in 97. That was a long time ago. 22 years. I mean, right now your cell phone could crush the world champion at chess, literally. Um, Go used to be sort of thought of as something that humans were better at than computers. Then Lisa Dahl was beaten 4-1 four, four by Alpha Zero. Then uh, a new version of Alpha Zero, oh, I should say Alpha Go. Alpha Go beat Lisa Dahl 4 1. Then uh, there's Alpha Zero. Alpha Zero crushed Alpha Go 100 to 0. Now it's just pointless because it just keeps playing itself. It, humans are it, uh, trying to play a, a computer Go is like trying to fight uh, Zeus. It's a, not going to work. You, ho hopeless. We are hopeless, hopelessly inadequate. Um, in terms of rendering, into, like, the, the, basically there's just a smaller and smaller corner of, of, what, of intellectual pursuits that humans are better than um, computers. And that every year it gets smaller and smaller. And, and soon we will be far, far surpassed in every single way, guaranteed. Okay. Or, or civilization will end. Those are the two possibilities. Okay. Um, yeah, my view is that um, computer may be clever but human beings are much smarter. Yeah, definitely not. Clever is very academic, is knowledge driven. Smarter is experience driven. Co computer is smart, is clever, but it's human being. We invented a computer. I never see a computer invented a human being. This is my first point. Second point is that um, about a go play chess. It's stupid to compete with a computer on play Go. Just like a hundred years ago, where human beings created cars. So human beings said, I can run faster than a car. It's impossible. It's only stupid people to compete with a car who run faster. Go is designed for human to play with human. Right? The chess is designed for human to human. Why should a human to fight against a, a computer? So I never ever play chess or go with computer. I'll be happy to see two computers fight each other. I'm not interested in play go with chess. So I told <coughs> those guys, they are very sad. So, uh, Computer will be smarter than human beings because computer can play chess better. Ah, I think you are stupid to compete with that. Don't do that. So this is, well, this is we well, always do things we are good at. 
Sure. Okay. Well, what would be an example of something that humans are better than a computer at, and and then let's see if that happens. Well, humans, computer is only one of the clever tools that human created, and hu computers are are clever. But there will be more tools that human beings will create, much cleverer than computers. That's my view. Okay. Well, let me tell you. Like my view on the on AI is essentially the um, you can view the advancement of AI as solving things with increasing numbers of degrees of with increasing degrees of freedom. So the the thing that the thing with the most most degrees of freedom is reality. Um, but uh, AI has steadily advanced, solving things that have more and more degrees of freedom. Uh, so obviously, something like like checkers was very easy to solve. Um, that that we could solve with with classical uh, software, classical computing, not not really all that challenging. Um, and in fact, uh, th there is a complete solution for checkers, meaning it is literally literally e impossible. Uh, every every version of checkers is known. Um, so, and then, uh, then, then there's chess, which is also was also um, it had many, many more degrees of freedom than checkers, many orders of magnitude more than checkers, but still a really, I would say, a low order of magnitude, uh, a low degree of freedom game. Um, then there's Go, which had many orders of magnitude more degrees of freedom than than chess. Um, so it's, it's really just stepping through orders of magnitude of degrees of freedom. This is the way to, I think, view the advancement of intelligence. Yeah. Um, and and it, it, it's really going to get to the point where it just can completely simulate a person in every way possible, like many people simultaneously. In fact, I mean, obviously, there's a, there's, there's a strong argument we're in a simulation right now. Um, you know, it sort of reminds me of that joke of like, you know, if, if life was a video game, how, what would be the review? And it's like, well, the graphics are incredible. Um, it's, the, the plot is confusing. Um, and the respawn takes a long time. You know, <laughs> that's a video game. That's life. I mean, if life was a video game. Respawn take, it takes 20 years to spawn a human being and have them be fully conscious. Um, I, I'm, I'm worried about the birth rate, which, which you alluded to earlier. The, uh, the, Contrary to, like mo most people think we, we have like too many people on the planet, but actually this is, this is an outdated view. This is. I absolutely agree with that. The, uh, the population problem is going to be facing huge challenge.